Well, I'm here with two of my favorite chefs, Scott Craig from Katie's and a couple of other restaurants, and then Greg Reggio from Zia's and San Molina. And you guys are, have come up with an idea to try and raise money for the Hospitality Foundation. Scott, how did it get started? Well, we have, you know, Greg and I are very, very close friends. And we, we talk about a lot. I looked up to him in the restaurant business. And I was, I noticed online that Better Than Ezra had raised like $40,000 for the musicians in New Orleans by having an online concert. And I thought that it was so cool. So who do I call? I called Greg. I said, hey, man. You know, I said, you know, Better Than Ezra did this thing. And what can we do to raise money for our chefs and, and our, you know, our culinarians in, in New Orleans? And we started thinking about it. And like two minutes later, he comes back with, dude, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the apron project. And that's how it all came about. Yeah, and really... so we've been trying to reach out to all our friends and all our chefs in the business to sign their aprons and take a picture, picture with it and send it to Greg. And I'll let Greg take it from there. Well, Greg, how's this going to make money? Well, so pretty easily. The first step is we're going to get chefs around the, uh, the New Orleans area to do something really simple. What they're going to do is they're going to put on one of their aprons. If it's battle worn, that's great. They're going to sign it. They're going to print their name on it, and they're going to have one of their their assistants uh, take a picture of them, and then uh, in the apron, then send it to us. And then uh, we will retrieve the apron. But in the meantime, we're going to build a website um, so that people can actually bid on the chef's apron. So you could actually do something as simple as this, where I've signed it. I've yeah. got my name on there and a little cutesy and all it can be something simple like this. Some of the chefs are going to work with some artists to come up with some more unique designs. Um, and uh, we'll have an auction site that's being put that'll be online. You'll have a chance to bid on the apron. We're requesting two aprons from each chef because we'd like to be able to auction off the an entire collection of aprons. One person could win hopefully up to about 200 aprons. Wow. And Scott, show us your apron. Mine is, can you see it there? It's, uh, it's got all our, it's got our team logos on there. It's got Katie's and Francesca and Bienvenue. And then the one I'm, I have is already autographed. It says, fighting the good fight. It says, you know, battle worn and I autographed it. And I'm hoping somebody will give us a lot of money for it. And the reason you guys are doing this as, as restaurateurs, you guys are suffering like every other restaurateur. But you're trying to help out some of the people who are out of work, who have been laid off, because you both had to lay off workers. We have, Eric, and it's, uh, you know, it's in our nature, it's in our, our DNA to want to help out. We just, you know, it's tough right now for restaurants to do that because they are, in fact, struggling. But we're really interested in, in the chefs being able to take care of their cooks, the folks who have really made them who they are in the business. We figured this was a great way to do it. It'll be able, the money that's raised in here will go via the Louisiana Hospitality Foundation, and then it will be distributed to people in need. They'll be restricted to the culinarians and all that. And so we, we don't want every, every cook to sign an apron and take a picture. We don't want future chefs. We want to have, we have great chefs, you know, maybe some award-winning chefs would be great. Some really well-known <laughs> chefs. Well, no, no, Scott, chefs, don't let him do this. You know, chefs, hey, he chefs me who, you know, who are well-known and home. maybe, you know, people really would value um, you know, decorated chefs, chefs that, that right. are Greg, we're almost out of time. We can't go through all your awards or Scott's. It would take a long I, time. I know, I know. But let's go ahead and, and how do people get to be part of this? All right, so we will be going live with a Facebook page as soon as we get a little more critical mass. Right now we're in the process of collecting the, um, the photographs and the aprons themselves. Our goal is to have this, have this go live right at the end of uh, April and okay. have the auction start there. All right, and, and, and uh, we'll get it out to people where they can find you guys on Facebook and be part of it. And, and Scott, you're open. All three of your restaurants are doing takeout? Yes, we're all doing curbside take it curbs out and delivery. We, okay. Um, I actually, we turned our wait staff into delivery drivers. And Greg, Dallas, you're doing the same thing, right? Uh, yep, we sure are. We've got all the locations that are open and uh, happy to be here serving and happy to keep it our people employed. So all remember, right. eat local, it's important. Well, I'm happy for, that you guys are doing this and it's great. Chefs always come through when there's a, a disaster, even when the disaster is hitting you guys personally. Thank you all so much. Thanks a lot, Eric.